uh, with this particular quick uh, video is talk about my uh, cholinergic urticaria. Um, yesterday, I got really, really hot. The, the apartment was really, really hot. We had a lot of the heaters on and um, we were working. Noelle said that she was really hot. She's like, it's really hot in here. Um, and I noticed that my forehead was sweating, but I did not have a single itch at all anywhere. Um, so that was really big for me. Um, now it could just be that the conditions were not hot enough. It could be that I wasn't in the sun. Although typically if it's really hot enough, I will still, you know, feel it. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Um, but it seems like the regimen that I'm on is working. So I've been taking, um, four citrusines per day, spacing them out. Then I've been taking this oral um, sun blocker, and then I've also been taking the renatidine, um, taking four pills total a day. So I've um, been spacing them out throughout the day. So that could have something to do with it. Uh, we shall see. But if that's the case and it is suppressing it, then that's a great thing. I still didn't have sweat on my back, but I did have it on my forehead. So um, we shall see what happens. All right. All right, so I wanted to do a, uh, an update on what I said that I had been taking to uh, deal with the cholinergic urticaria. Um, I've been testing this out after my doctor had recommended it, um, but I had made a goof on the video. I said I was taking four citrusine. Actually, I'm taking six. So uh, she asked me taking two uh, at breakfast, two for lunch, and then two during uh, dinner time. And then I'm taking four renatidine, 150 milligrams, which I take two in the morning, one in the afternoon, or one during lunch, and then one at night. So I get the generic brand. I don't know what you actually may get. That's going to be backwards. But that's basically what I take uh, for the renatidine part. Uh, for the citrusine part, I take this. So this is the one that I take. I don't know if you can even see that or not. Let's see if it will not be blurry but I take uh, like I said six of those throughout the day and then finally she mentioned HelioCare which you take one of those a day um, now I'm no doctor so I can't tell you what to take I can only tell you what I've been taking um, so far it's been working good last night however it was extremely hot because we left the heater on in the bedroom so I woke up and my legs were itching uh, now, my legs typically don't itch when the inner part of my thigh don't itch whenever I have a CU issue. Um, that's typically going to be my back, my arms, the front of my legs, that type of thing. Um, I must say that I also had taken a shower and didn't lotion up either uh, prior to that. So I think the combination of the heat and just the extreme dryness created that issue. Um, it was gone after that, after I cooled down a little bit didn't have an issue so I don't know if the uh, the regimen is no longer effective um, the video that I did was on Sunday and then now we're talking today on Tuesday so um, I don't think it's necessarily that the regimen's not working I think it was a combination of the fact that my skin was dry because my back was totally fine so um, just wanted to do a quick update on the renatidine and the citrusine and the helio care regimen that I'm doing um, and then once I face extremely hot sunny conditions then I'll give you an update on how well I did with that so uh, as also, <laughs> as always until next time I'll see you take care